early on, it seemed like the times when you guys were struggling against them, what, what was kind of the key in the message to sort of staying close throughout that game? Yeah, I mean, the message is simple. You know, uh, in that first quarter, you know, everything we prioritized all week long in prepping for this game, uh, we weren't doing. And obviously, it started in transition, and then it carried over into the paint. You know, they, uh, they just dominated in both areas. Um, but, you know, I, I felt the way we closed that second quarter was really important. And then the second half, obviously, I think we outscored them 57 to 43, held them to 42% from the field. And uh, I think they only had two transition points and only 20 paint points in the entirety of the second half. So uh, these games are long games. And even if you're not playing well, and I felt we had a ton of great looks in that first half that didn't go down, you just got to stay with it. And, uh, you know, it's great to see our guys do that tonight and, and find a way to, you know, in that second half, get stops, get out and run, and also see that ball go through the net. And, like, KCP got hot, Jamal. It was, it was good to see the ball go through the net uh, for our guys. Coach, in the over here third quarter run, I assume that's what you're talking about, especially just what allowed the team to sort of get out into that rhythm and, and just generate great offensive possessions over and over again? Yeah, it was a defense. I mean, you, you look at that 32 to 18 score and uh, that, that's nugget basketball um, right there where you're defending, you're rebounding. And now, you know, they're in our house at, in altitude and we, we, we have to get out and run. We can't be playing half court basketball. So I felt in that second half, you know, we had 21 fast break points tonight. And that's an outstanding number in a playoff game. And, uh, you know, we don't want to play half court basketball. So uh, it was all predicated, Ryan, with our defense, the rebounding. And then guys got out and ran and the ball was moving. Um, so, you know, 27 assists, only six turnovers is a terrific ratio as well. Uh, Pat Graham, Associated Press. Um, you said, you know, that's the, the court is kind of the safe haven for Michael Porter. He had 19, 8, and two blocks. What did you think of his performance tonight? Yeah, I, I felt uh, that he got better and better as the game went along. You know, uh, I felt a couple of our guys, you know, uh, at halftime, I told them, I said, man, we're getting great looks. You know, uh, don't stop shooting the ball. If you're open, shoot the ball with confidence. And I felt for Michael, I, I just felt as the game went along, he got himself further and further into the game. And, um, you know, there's so much going on off the court for Michael Porter Jr. and his family. You know, this, uh, this allows him to get back to do something not only that he loves, but also does very well. And, and I just felt like he kind of settled in the game and wound up, as you mentioned, with 19 and 8 and um, hit a couple of big shots. Um, right here. Uh, you get down, what, I think 12 in the first half. Any frustration by you or the team? And if not, what's that say about this team? Yeah, no, I mean, you, you definitely got to stay the course, right? I think, you know, the, our mantra throughout the entirety of the playoffs, even last year, is, you know, don't get too high, don't get too low. Um, but, you know, the, the only little bit of frustration was everything we had talked about early in that game, we just weren't doing. You know, I mean, they, we know that they're going to leak out when we shoot a shot and we had nobody back. Uh, we know that they're going to look to drive the gaps and get to the paint because they live in the paint. They're elite in that area. And we just weren't shrinking the floor enough, and we didn't have enough you know, personnel discipline with certain guys. But um, you, know, you just kind of keep reminding guys and, and to stay with it. And uh, as the game went along, kids, the guys got more and more locked in. And uh, once again, I know that third quarter was great, but I really felt the end of that second quarter, you know, for us to get back in it before LeBron hit that deep pull-up three, um, that allowed us to be within striking distance and have that third quarter that we had. Coach, what, what do you think it says about your group, though, that you knew you were going to get a good shot from them, and I get some of it was stuff you weren't necessarily executing like you wanted to early, but that they go out, you know, throw haymakers, I guess, for lack of a better expression, and you're still able to battle back in the second and then, you know, win by double digits. Well, yeah, we're not going anywhere. I mean, like, uh, this is the playoffs. No, no, no team in the playoffs is going to, you know, if you get down 12 early, you're not going to just, you know, take your ball and go home. You know, we, we, we still have plenty of fight left in us, and we know that we were – better than what that we were playing early and uh you know that's a good team over there obviously uh they came into the playoffs playing extremely well and they showed it and lebron was on course i thought he's about to have 50 points tonight uh, the way he was playing and shooting the ball um, and obviously he and uh, ad i think combined for around almost 59 points tonight but um yeah they're going to make adjustments we'll have to watch the film see what we can do better and uh th this is going to be a hell of a series moving forward Michael, just four turnovers for you guys tonight. There's only one by the starters. How much of that is 
just the comfortability you think you guys have against play, uh, playing against these guys? Uh, yeah, I, th I think there's definitely a, a comfort level. You know, we played them four times in the playoffs last year, three times this year. Uh, they're f pretty much the same team, uh, aside from a few players, and same for us. But I think more, more important than that, regardless if we're comfortable or not, I think our guys understand against that team, if you turn the ball over, you're allowing LeBron to get out and run a transition, and th there's no answer for him in that regard. So. Uh, that's one thing we harped on all week is not fueling their break with costly, uh, costly mistakes. Um, we didn't see a ton of DeAndre late in the regular season. Was uh, him in that second unit sort of a product of Aaron being in foul trouble earlier, or was that kind of part of the plan to begin with? A combination. You know, obviously uh, Aaron got in the, the quick two fouls, and uh, then Peyton got in foul trouble, and that was a concern. But, you know, I told DJ as we approach these playoffs, um, last year, every time I called upon him, foul trouble, whatever's going on in the game, he delivered. He stays ready. I can't say enough good things about uh, DeAndre Jordan uh, being the pro that he is. And I felt he had a real positive impact. You know, the block in the paint tonight, um, just uh, his size, his presence. And that is a great lesson for all the young players in that locker room. You may not be playing, you may not be in the rotation, but things happen in a game where you're going to be called upon. And if you're not mentally and physically ready, you're going to go out there and fail. And, and DJ never does that because he stays ready, and that's why he's a pro. When you guys were – right here, Coach, sorry. When, when you guys were not playing well uh, in the first half, you know, especially, you know, kind of running in mud offensively, not getting stops, was there a sense that it could have been worse? I mean, I know you were down eight and then 12 on the scoreboard, but – you know, if it could have been even worse than that. Was there a sense that, hey, you know, we're not playing well, but let's get back into this? Yeah, and, and I think part of us being down early is, yeah, we may not have been playing well, but you have to give them credit. I mean, they, they came out here, you know, uh, playing very well and, and had us on their heels. So I think that's number one is give the Lakers credit for coming into our building and sending a message that they're here. And, uh, you know, this is a brand new series, and which is what we fully expected. But there was a timeout where I said exactly that. I said, we're down eight right now. We're not playing great. They're off to a hot start. We're missing a ton of open looks. I go, but what's got to change is our defense, starting with transition and then flowing into the paint. And uh, once we improve those areas, we're going to have a chance to get out and run ourselves. And that's kind of how things played out tonight. But um, you know, we, we know Darvin Ham, his coaching staff, they do a hell of a job. Uh, they'll have those guys ready come Monday night. All right, we're we're almost ten minutes into this, and I don't know if we even mentioned Joker yet. Thirty-two. Who's, who, who's that? Yeah, <laughs> thirty-two points. Is it that just run of the mill? Uh, it is, you know. Um, you know, but what was really impressive, obviously, is the thirty-two, the twelve boards, the seven assists, the two steals. He had a big steal late. How many dunks did he have tonight? Is, is there? I mean, that's come on, man. That, that's that's big time. We should be giving away free gifts or something like that. So, um, yeah, Nicola, we see it all the time, man. Like, you know, Nicola's a great player. And the bigger the stage, the brighter the lights, you know, he just continues to shine. And the same is said for Jamal Murray. Like, I, I ran Jamal 39 minutes tonight, uh, which is more than I would have liked to have played him. But um, he's another gamer. You know, I, we've seen those guys time and time again. And, I got to give all the other guys credit. Once again, Pope's four threes, but Aaron Gordon, uh, 12, 11, and seven. And um, he had a couple of really big offensive rebounds for us. So this was a team win. I know we have a great player in Nicola, but uh, we needed everybody to get this win, and they all stepped up. All right, thanks, everybody.